Hello, friends. Last class of the day. It is time for Bible. It is a nice way to end such a great day is to spend some little time with God today. So that's what we're going to do. We are talking about Moses. We're on a new lesson, lesson 12, I believe. Let me pull it up for you and we'll get started. All right. So first of all, let me do a share. Got lots to share today. Here we are. We're on this page, which is page something. Page, I don't know. It, I cut it off when I scanned it and I apologize. So I hope you can find it. It's the one titled People in Moses' Life. All right. So go ahead and put your name on your date on and date on it. Let me pull that up here. Ah. Three, five, one, and we will read, okay? Here we go. God told Moses that it was time to keep his promise to his people. He would bring his people out of Egypt and into the promised land. In Exodus 3.8, God described the land as a good land flowing with milk and honey. Think it was cinnamon milk? That's milk with honey in it. Remember when we made cinnamon milk? See, everything's a tie-in. I'm just telling you. That's why it's important to do well in all your subjects, not just your favorite subject. You never know when you'll have a tie-in. Next, God told Moses about his plans. He had been preparing Moses for this time. God's plans are explained in Exodus 3.10. God told Moses that he was going to send him before Pharaoh so that Moses would lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. Okay. All right. And then we've got, this says, people in Moses' life. Oh, you know what? Let's go back. I pulled up the Bible gateway for us so we can look at Moses 8 through, or I'm sorry, Exodus 8 through 10. We'll have a look and see what it says. Okay. This up here. Here we go. Exodus 8 through 10. Okay. It says, so I have come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Egyptians and to bring them up from a land from a land that, to a good and large land, to a land flowing with milk and honey, to the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites, to the Amorites and the Perez, Perizzites. I'm not sure how to pronounce that word to tell you the truth. And the Hivites and the Jebusites. Now, therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Israel has come to me, and I have also seen the oppression with which the Egyptian oppresses them. Come now, therefore, and I will send you to Pharaoh that, may you, may bring, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. That's a nice one today. If you'd like, go ahead and look that up in your own Bible. It's fun to get some practice looking in, in the Bible for those uh, passages. So let's come back to our page today. And here it is. And do the work. Okay. It says, people in Moses's life. I can make that a little bigger, I think. It says, use the following names to tell who had important parts in Moses's life. Then use these to complete the puzzle below. All right, let's read our word choices, shall we? Let's have KJ, can you read that one? Daughter. Daughter. A daughter is when you have a child that is a girl that's a daughter. Jamia, this word is 
Hebrews. Hebrews. And how about this word, Austin? God. That word is God. Jeff, do you have this word for me? Pharaoh. That word is Pharaoh. Here's a new one. Hunter, can you do this one for me? Miriam. Miriam. Hmm. Who is Miriam? And the next one, that word is what, Preston? Aaron. And then we're all the way back to Brianna for this word, Egyptian. All right, here we go. Number one says, and these are all across today. There are no downs. They're all across. It says, who was Moses's sister? There it is right there. Who was Moses' sister? And then if we look up here, look at the names, you'll see it is Miriam, M-I-R-I-A-M. -I -I we know it's right because they've got the I in there and it's in the right spot. M-I-R-I-A-M, Miriam. Okay. And number two wants to know who was Moses' brother? That's not hard. That was Aaron. A A R O N. A A R O N. And the next one, number three says. Who were the people who were made to work as slaves? Was it the Egyptians or the Hebrews? It was the Hebrews, that's right. Hebrews. H E B R E W S Hebrews. And number four says, who had a great plan for Moses? And the clue begins with a G. Who was that? Very good. It was God. Let's write God in there. G. O. D. Number five says, what kind of teachers taught Moses in school? Who were the teachers that taught Moses? They were Egyptian. Egyptian. E G Y P T I N. Egyptian. No, I almost thought to do Egypt for our country study today. We'll have to do that on another day. Um, that would be a good tie-in too, but New Zealand had so many great videos on it. I thought we'd do that one. Next one. Who demanded that all Hebrew baby boys should die? Who said that? That was Pharaoh, right? H H Pharaoh Pharaoh and the last one what child of the Pharaoh took Moses from the river who was that his daughter daughter D A U G H T E R. Very good. Go ahead and get this down. That's it. That's Bible for today. Hopefully, the next time we meet for class, we will be in the classroom all together. Here's hoping. It's a big air hug because I miss you guys so much. Um, 
So I hope we're all together. Again, don't forget, take all the papers, but pull them out from your desk and your bookshelf and under your bed and out of your dog's mouth, wherever you find school papers, pull them all together and bring them in on Monday. Because if you don't, you'll be missing some grades and you also might have to write them on paper. So gather up all your papers, do a good job of getting them all together for mom. She'd really appreciate that and put them together. And hopefully I will see you soon. Bye-bye.